Once again this season, the Alps has been rocked by avalanches that have claimed several lives off piste. In winter resorts, safety has to be paramount. We visited Courchevel in France to find out what can be done to reduce the risk. Ski patrol staff play a central role, using explosive charges to trigger avalanches before the ski runs are opened. The explosives are powerful enough to blow up a house. We connect the charge to the safety line. The fuse burns one meter every 90 to 120 seconds. 90 and 120 seconds au meter. It's the minimum for carrying out an explosion. You always have to be calm to do this job. There are very specific actions to be carried out. I make sure it is burning and I throw it into the necessary place. We're now just in front of where the patrol members have triggered the avalanches and we can see at the rocky ledges opposite where the snow has slipped, caused by the detonation of the explosives. One, two, three. Two, three. Dynamite is not the only way to trigger an avalanche. Patrol members can also create them simply by skiing on slopes in sensitive areas where lots of snow has built up. The patrol teams are prepared with the latest safety equipment, including avalanche airbags and location devices. Their equipment is given one final check before they are sent off into the mountains in different directions. The Courchevel teams also use gas pipes to control avalanches, installed throughout the ski resort in hard-to-reach areas where snow can build up quickly. Triggered from the control station at the bottom of the resort, a spark causes a powerful detonation at the end of the pipe. The shockwave then causes an avalanche. The patrol members are all specially trained in different areas. Some are explosive experts, others, like Francois, are in charge of training dogs used to find avalanche victims under the snow. An avalanche dog is trained to pick up the smell of a human body under the snow. From being a puppy, the dog is trained to search for this smell and to focus on it. A dog can be operational from 15 months, but I think to be really effective, it should be around two years old. After their patrols, the staff reconvene for a debrief. And once everything has been checked, the green light is given for the resort to be opened and the fun to begin. Courchevel is one of the oldest French resorts and last year celebrated its 70th birthday. Its director, Thomas Tourjanson, tells us... Courchevel has more than 100 ski runs, which equates to about 150 kilometers. It needs 500 employees to function properly from the start of December until the end of April. With a turnover of more than 60 million euros, our net profit is about 5 million euros. All the rest is ploughed back into the business, in salaries, operating costs and investments. That said, the myth of so-called white gold still exists, but it's less attractive than in previous days.